Well, hello. My name is Adam Smith, calling from NobelPrize.org in Stockholm. Well, first of all, many, many congratulations on the award of the Nobel Prize. Thank you. Were you asleep when the call came? Most definitely. <laughs> nice way to be woken up. <laughs> yes, well, I think it took two calls. The first, uh, the first time I didn't get there quite in time, but... Uh, that is on the second try. <laughs> you must have, you, you must have had a nervous moment because I guess you may have had an inkling what the call was about, thinking you may have missed it. <laughs> yeah, either that or I thought someone had a very bad sense of humor. That could happen, I suppose. What did you d do upon hearing the news? I hugged uh, my wife. So this this lovely combination of the three of you in the way your work intertwines. But you discovered the key protein HIF one. Were you amazed by how um, uh, ubiquitous its involvement in pathophysiology and, and phys normal physiology seems to be? Uh, for, for sure. Um, yeah, we started uh, you know, studying a very, uh, very specific and kind of limited question of uh, how uh, red blood cell production was regulated. And uh, uh, from there, it expanded to uh, so many areas of uh, physiology and medicine that... Uh, Quite amazing. Reading the story of how it all pieced together, it, it illustrates how much science research is is about solving puzzles. Yes, and um, and uh, unexpected turns. Uh, that's what makes uh, science so exciting. You never quite know uh, where your studies are going to lead you. It must be a little bit like being a detective. Yeah, it is. Um, you have the added benefit that solving the puzzle may. Um, ultimately impact on uh, people's health. And that's, of course, the most uh, important part uh, of the process. Well, that's an interesting point, because all three of you have one foot in the research lab and one foot in clinical practice. Do you think that's an important point? Yeah, I do. Um, I think it's really important to have people who um, uh, are uh, kind of there at the boundary between research and medicine to... Uh, Know, facilitate the um, discovery of knowledge that will translate ultimately to um, improvements in clinical practice. It must be increasingly hard to keep both things going, with increasing clinical workloads and, I don't know, more form-filling if you're a scientist. Yes, uh, that, that's right. In fact, I stopped um, uh, my clinical work about uh, 20 years ago and focused on... on uh, the research at that time. I must say, you do sound um, you sound quite um, knocked back by the by the news. Yeah, well, nobody certainly nobody expects that. That's that's for sure. Um, even after people have been telling you for you know twenty years or more that, that it's going to happen, no no one expects it. That's right, because I mean, the three of you got the Lasker Prize in twenty sixteen, which is sometimes an indicator, isn't it? Yeah, sure, but uh, yeah, it's still no no guarantee, and there's um, uh, certainly lots of uh, deserving candidates. So um, yeah, no, I was certainly speechless when uh, I received the news. Well, it's going to be a day of um, conversations with journalists who are going to um, be landing on you. Will you find any respite before then? Perhaps not. No, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> We uh, uh, look forward enormously to welcoming you to Stockholm when you come in December to receive the prize. Yeah, I certainly look forward to it. Thank you very much indeed. And once again, congratulations. Okay, take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.